Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. My name is Rishi Panchal and in this video we are going to learn Dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, if you are looking to enhance your photo editing skill, you are come to the right place. Today we are diving into the Dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop, a powerful feature that can add amazing light effect and detail to your images. So let's get started. Okay? So you can find a Dodge tool in a toolbar over here. Okay? It's look like a magnificent glass. Okay, so by pressing a shortcut O, you can activate this tool. For example, right now I am in a move tool and if I want to activate the dodge tool, then I'm just pressing O. And as you can see, I can shift it to dodge tool. Okay, in case you are in a burn tool and you want to switch to dodge tool, then you just need to press shift plus O. See the result. Okay, as you can see, I can switch from one tool to another tool in the same category which can be done by shortcut O. Okay. So I'm just selecting a dodge tool. Fine. So I'm just selecting this image. Okay. So first of all, we are going to see the basic use of this dodge tool. Okay. It is used to lighten the area. So if I'm just to start using my brush on this coin and as you can see, it will brightness this part okay so like this you can use a dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop. this is a basic use of this tool so now that we have the dodge tool selected let's make a look at the option bar at the top of the screen here you can adjust the size of the brush from here okay you can change the hardness and size of the brush I recommend it to starting with a soft brush to create a smooth and natural highlights so I am just selecting uh, this soft rounded okay and the size will be fine hardness okay and just selecting this fine now we are going to switch to the another image okay here we are going to learn a range where we have a shadow mid-tone and highlights so friends when you click on the range option you will get a drop down menu and that menu contains these th three different ranges which is shadows mid-tones and highlights okay so one by one we are going to learn all these three in detail because it's very important and after that we are going to learn this exposure fine so first i am selecting these highlights okay so first of all i am just uh, remove this output you can see this is the original one and this is after applying all these ranges okay i am just deleting this okay now this is the original one so first of all we are going to see the highlights this option change the light area of the image fine what is the light area this is a mid part is a light area so it can be applied on this part only so friends as you can see if i'm try to brush over here then no any effect okay as you can see this is very lightly effect on this because it's a shadow part darken part and what we are selecting we selecting a highlight so it's working only on a highlighted parts so I'm just uh, drag over here and as you can see the result. Okay. So it's work on a highlighted part. Fine. Now, next we are going to see a shadow. So this option change the dark area of the image. So basically it's working on a shadow parts, which is a darken area. Okay. So if I'm try to brush over here and as you can see, it will give a very less impact. Okay. Now, if I'm try to brush on this darker part, shadow part, and as you can see, see the result. Okay. It will apply very nicely because we selected a range shadows. Fine. So next we are going to see mid-tones. Okay. So friends, this option change the middle range of grays. Okay. It is a default option. For example, uh, if I am lighting over here, it will give a very little tone. If I am press over here. Okay. So basically, it will increase the tone of the middle range of grays. Fine. So this is the output. Okay. There is a highlight, this is a shadow and there is a mid-tone. Fine. So friends, next we are going to see this exposure. Fine. So these options define how strongly you apply this effect on image. 
the default slider is 50% as you can see. But it can be changed from 0 to 100% according to your requirement. Fine. So I am just uh, applying this exposure on this image. I am just selecting my dodge tool. Increase the size of the brush. And I am just decrease the exposure to 0. And as you can see there is a no changes of this on this image. Because exposure is 0. Now I am just increase this exposure to 50%. And as you can see the result, okay, fine. Now we are just increasing, first of all I am just duplicating it and now we are applying on it. So we will, you will see the result, okay. So this is by 0%, this is after 50% and now I am just duplicating this and make it 100%, okay. As you can see the result. It will apply very nicely okay so guys as you can see the result is exposure zero percent okay exposure on a 50 percent and exposure on 100 percent okay so like this you can use the dodge to let be adobe photoshop to lighten the area so friends now we are going to use a dodge tool on this image okay where you can see my photo is over here uh, which I look little bit of darker so I'm just selecting a dodge tool okay exposure I'm just uh, set to 40% I'm just duplicating this layer so that you can see the result okay and now I'm just applying a dodge tool fine first of all I am just trying on the t-shirt okay okay you can also can apply on the face but you just need to work with the exposure okay Here you can see the darkened part. See here the dark area. I'm just uh, brush over here. So friends like this you can use a dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop to make your image more clear. Okay. See the result. This is the original one, okay, and this is after we are applying a dodge tool. See the difference, okay, this is a major difference you can see on this image. See, we are working on a highlights, we are working on a shadows, okay, to make this image more better. Okay, so friends, that's all about a dodge tool in Adobe Photoshop. This tool is very powerful tool to add an amazing light effect and details to your images okay so thank you so much guys if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the notification see you next time thank you